This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. Roof skylights. Here's the rendering of our little project. This is what we're shooting for. And we've done a lot of this. One of the things that we're missing, though, are the skylights. The client did indicate that they wanted skylights. So let's flip over to their sketch and see what size they wanted those. So they said, give me two centered 47 inch by 24 inch skylights. And okay, so we'll do that. Skylights are loaded in as windows and they're hosted to the roof. I'm going to click on window in the home tab in the ribbon. And you know, you can't just drop a window in up in the roof. You actually have to load in the family. So I'm going to click on load family. And then I'm going to go to Imperial Library. Then I'm going to go to Windows, Skylight, and Open. Okay, so you can see here how this skylight automatically attaches itself to the roof. And if I wanted to put it onto a wall, it's not going to happen. It's specifically looking for a roof object. So if I just drop that in, I'm going to hit Escape twice. When I do that, it takes me back out to my Modify cursor. But you can see what it does. It actually cuts a hole in the roof and it puts a skylight object in there. Now they wanted this to be 47 inches by 24 inches, so let's take care of that. Click on the skylight, click on Edit Type in the Properties, click on Duplicate. You know, this is just the same thing we've been doing and we're going to keep doing this throughout this course. So this is a 47 by 24, and I'm just going to scroll over here. This is 47 and that's 24 inches, and we'll say OK to that. OK, so we've got the size right. Now we want to position it right. So how are we going to position this properly? Well, first of all, we want to get to a view where we can actually see this thing. So let's flip over to our site view. What this is going to do is allow us to look down from a bird's eye view. For instance, if I were to go into floor plan, you can't see the skylight there. Why? because it's above. Revit doesn't show stuff that's above by default. Let's go to the site view. And now we can see we're looking from above and we're looking down on the roof. There's a skylight. Now this is definitely in our way. We want to turn that off. Let's just right click on that object. Let's go to hide in view and then category. There we go. So now all of our elevation markers have been hidden and it gives us a nice clean look. Now, we have to do a little bit of math in order to balance these out. There are some Revit tools in order to lay things out, balance things out, and center things. But what we find is just using standard math that you would have to do, you're going to have to use standard math occasionally anyway. So let's take a look at how this might be done here. So we want two skylights. We want them centered. So we want the same distance between, there would be one, two, three spaces between two skylights. And we want that space to be the same. That's what they would consider to be centered. So how do we do that? Well, we can just take the size of this. This is 24 inches wide. And we can take the total length between here and here. That's 17 feet. And then we can just do some math where we can add up the two skylights. So that's 24 plus 24. That's 48 or 4 feet. And then we subtract that from the total. That brings us down to 13 feet. And then we would divide that by three spaces. So that's the space left over that we're dividing by three spaces. And that works out to 52 inches. And how did I get that? Well, just used the calculator and figured it out. Now, how do I translate that number, 52 inches, to my skylight? Well, I'm going to use the dimension tool. And we've talked about this throughout, but let's look at it again. I'm going to go to annotate. I'm going to go to aligned. Now I'm going to just dimension from this reference plane to the edge of the skylight. And then I'll just put that dimension there. I'll hit escape a couple times. Now, how do I move this object based upon that dimension? Well, if I click on the object, and that's not on the dimension, we have to click on the object. Now, notice how the dimension turns blue. I can click in there. I can type in 52 inches. There we go. What about the other side? Well, we're going to need to copy this one over. So let's click on it. Let's just copy it straight over. Not really too concerned about the distance at this point. Hit escape twice. Go back to dimension. So annotate, aligned. I'll go from that reference plane over to that. Now it says four foot two. 
So we just have to move it over a couple inches. Let's click on the skylight. Notice the dimension turns blue. Then we can click in there and say 52, enter. So now we have equal spacing between them. And if we want to confirm that, we can just put a third space right here. And we can see that that's four foot four spaced out between them. Now you don't have to keep those dimensions. Those have just been used to size or to move the skylights and they may get in the way. So now that we've done that, maybe we just save it and we're ready to go. So before we leave out of this model, let's just go to our 3D view and the interior view. So now you can see there's a skylight. Why don't we click on the edge of this border? So that's the edge of the crop region for the 3D view. And let's just stretch that up. And then we can see a little bit more of the roof. We can see a little bit more of the skylights as well. There we go. I'm going to go back to a 3D view and just a corner. And we'll save that.